This is Twit. Jack has written in and has uh, provided some follow-up for a conversation that we had in the past. Jack says, you gave directions to Vernon about deleting emails using the Gmail interface. So you may remember, or if this is your first time tuning in, uh, then I'll remind you that Vernon had written in, uh, and last week I answered the question of how to get rid of old emails. Vernon had a bunch a bunch of emails. And I was helping figure out how to get rid of the ones that Vernon didn't need anymore. Uh, Jack says, I used a similar technique earlier this year to delete all email messages prior to January 1st, 2023. And so what uh, Jack probably did was use some search operators to say, I want you to show me all of the emails that were from before this time. Uh, Jack says, I recorded the total space occupied in my Google account and waited for 30 plus days for the trash to be deleted permanently. So what Jack is talking about there is that uh, Google, specifically Gmail, will hold on to email that you throw away for up to 30 days. Jack is saying, I waited longer than 30 days uh, and looked at the Gmail account. And Jack says, as I check now, Gmail occupies the same amount of space. There's been no meaningful change. How do I recover space that should have been freed by deleting all those old email messages? Alternatively, is there a way to examine the occupied space with more granularity than the, quote, drive photos Gmail breakdown that Google provides? My account currently uses about 13 gigabytes of the 15 gigabytes of free allocation with Gmail occupying about 8 gigabytes of that. It would be helpful to see a breakdown by label, but I don't know a way to do that. Thanks for your help. So, Jack, um interesting because you've done everything uh, you know uh, up front that one would probably presumably need to do you have uh, not just deleted the email but you waited to see if the email reappeared or rather if it was you know completely trashed after you threw it away in the trash and it's still showing that you're taking up space now Interestingly, Scooter X uh, had a reaction that I also had. Um, Scooter X wrote in the chat, I rarely delete my Gmail and it is using 3.2 gigabytes. Um, I'm the same way. I have lots and lots and lots of emails and I uh, don't take up a whole lot of space. So it sounds like, Jack, you may have a lot of attachments included with your email or something else that is causing this to be, or maybe you just send a whole heck of a lot more email than I do. So um, I have a few things that to suggest. First and foremost, I would kind of, even though you, you feel like you've done everything that you're supposed to do this far, kind of pretend, just, just let your brain float away from that and pretend like you maybe haven't done everything that you're supposed to do long enough to try this out. Uh, use the search operator size colon and type in, you know, five megabytes, for example. So it'd be five M and look at all of the email that appears uh, with that actual search term. What's great is that you can also use something like larger colon and smaller colon. So you can say email that takes up, you know, more than five megabytes of space. That's what I'd like you to show me. Because I think that even though you, in theory, deleted the messages, there's a chance that something is causing them to Uh, stick around, and they may be sticking around in a different place. So when you delete email, it can be the case that if you delete them in one spot, if they still have labels somewhere else, that label could be causing them to be held on to, essentially. Another thing that you can do is you can sort of audit your email habits to make sure that you're not using an email program that is using POP instead of IMAP. 
So with IMAP, uh, you essentially are kind of getting a view into the server where the mail is being stored. Whereas with POP, it's actually grabbing those email, storing them locally. And then there could be some sort of sync thing where it is syncing them back to the server and keeping that email there. Now, I did look into uh, the Google suggestions about this as well. And Google says that sometimes there is a chance that 30 days is not the way is not is not the uh, extent at which Google will hold on to those emails. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer. So it is possible that Google is still holding on to the email. I doubt it, but it is possible that that's also the case. So I would wait a little bit longer, and then maybe at that point you reach out to uh, <laughs> Gmail support if you can get in touch uh, to see what in the world is going on here. But uh, as far as kind of looking for more granularity, the only thing that you could do is try a third-party uh, mail program to actually download those emails and see how much just how much space is actually you know being taken up by gmail specifically and because most modern mail programs kind of integrate with gmail precisely it means that it will know the labels that you've used and the categories that you've used and so you can break it down that way remember that there is also uh a search operator for using label so you can type in label colon and then type something else out as well so those are all possibilities for being able to check that out and we'll include a link in the show notes to the actual search operator page from gmail or rather from google and it has all of the different options for how you can kind of filter your email by search and check it out that way so yeah Going down the list, first and foremost, uh, try sorting your email by size, basically doing a search for the size to check that out. Then audit your mail habits to make sure that you aren't using a third-party mail program or Google's Gmail itself somewhere else, which could be causing like a sync issue where on that device, it's still has all those emails and so then it looks at the fact that you deleted them there and says oh no those are supposed to be there and then kind of puts them back that could also be the issue and then last but not least um using the search operator terms in a different way i guess that's not last but not least but uh the penultimate option is using those search operator terms in a different way to kind of figure out what email might be taking up a lot of space or what attachments are still being saved and then using a third-party email program to try and delete if for some reason Google still seems to be trying to hold on to those emails. Um, those are my suggestions for you, Jack, and do let us know how things turn out. 